Okay guys, Carnival has put his lack of comprehension of basic concepts on display yet again in a video where he criticizes Cosmic Skeptic for apparently not understanding Name the Trait. Let's go through Carnival's video and expose how he is in fact the one who does not comprehend Name the Trait. Here we go. Cosmic Skeptic does not understand Name the Trait. And apparently some of the viewers of my video refuting Cosmic Skeptic don't understand it either, and or they did not understand my arguments. So let me yet again break it down so that it could forever and consistently remain broken. I'm talking about name the trait now. So without giving you any valid reason as to why you should accept name the trait as valid. Okay, so here Carnival demonstrates that he doesn't comprehend what logical validity is. Name the trait is a modus ponens argument, right? P1 if p then q premise 2 p conclusion therefore q right there okay right the form p implies q p therefore q so modus ponens it's deductively valid okay you can tell this by looking at the truth table there is no row where the premises are true and the conclusion is false so carnival i'd like you to either acknowledge that you were wrong yet again and that name the trait is deductively valid or to present your case against modus ponens have fun with that cosmic skeptic asks you to name the trait funny now you don't have to play this game but if you choose to play this game play the game you must and the reason why I choose to play the game is because I know how to beat the game so we play but if you were to name the trait human cosmic skeptic will reject that trait so he asks you to play the game name the trait without giving you any valid reason for why you should yeah and then you play the game and you name the trait he rejects without giving you any valid reason for why you should well, look, should, he's a subjectivist. Should's just going to mean to him that you have a hypothetical norm to do the thing. So if you have some goal and interacting with the argument is conducive to that goal, then you should do it on his view, right? That's all a should is going to mean to him. So for example, if you have the goal of having a position which isn't vulnerable to counter argument, then you'd probably want to interact with the counter arguments. You should interact with the counter arguments. That's all that should is going to mean to him. So talking about him giving you a reason is kind of weird. It's just given your goals, you'll either have a reason or not. You'll either have a hypo norm to interact with the argument or you won't. Reject the trait. He rejects you naming the trait, thereby rejecting name the trait. So Okay, so here's another failure by Carnival. Rejecting a specific trait does not mean that you're rejecting the argument, right? I reject plenty of traits. Anyone can reject a trait. That doesn't mean that they're actually saying that the argument is unsound. The game he assumed was valid couple of seconds later he tells you is not that right so him saying that he doesn't accept a given trait doesn't mean that he thinks that there's a problem with the actual argument he's not telling you that the argument is unsound Alec, contradicting himself and in case you don't I, I in fact in case you don't you obviously don't understand things this basic soundness includes validity right so he'd say the argument is sound um, he'd certainly say that it's valid right so He's not telling you anywhere in here that the argument is invalid. That's included when I say he's not telling you that it's unsound, but I know that you don't know things that basic. But then he goes on to use name the trait to debunk meat eaters by presenting these straw men such as intelligence. And the reason why that is a straw man is because well, no one ever in a conversation or a debate with him presented him with this trait. Or at the very least, he never presented us with evidence of this. So, okay, so if someone hasn't personally delivered the argument to you, which who knows what arguments have been delivered to him, if someone hasn't personally delivered the argument to you, it's a straw man to talk about the problems with the argument. That's a interesting proprietary understanding of straw man right there, Carnival. So by analogy, if no one's ever given me the Kalam cosmological argument, am I straw manning? by talking about the problems with the Kalam cosmological argument? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, maybe by your weird proprietary definition of straw man. Oh, no one is actually, to him, making this argument. He is building a straw man, and the reason why he builds a straw man is because... I just don't get how someone can say something that silly, right? Obviously, 
you're not straw manning someone if you're hypothetically talking about a position. It doesn't have to be the case that someone has delivered the argument to you personally for you to talk about the argument hypothetically and point out problems with it without straw manning anybody, okay? If there's an argument that I haven't personally been delivered, it doesn't mean that I'm straw manning someone if I do an analysis of that argument. Men made out of straw are highly flammable and easily burned down to the ground, right? So once again, after he assumes that name the trait is valid, he rejects name the trait only to add... No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Look, rejecting a trait is not rejecting name the trait, okay? It's really not confusing. Him saying he doesn't accept the trait human doesn't mean that he doesn't accept the argument. This is just so basic. Act as if named a trait was yet conveniently again valid. The guys are carnival. If you think it's invalid, either present your case against modus ponens. Okay, show me why modus ponens is invalid. Um, or if you're going to backtrack, then just admit that Isaac showed you how logic works yet again. All over the place. He's incoherent. He's flip flopping, contradicting himself, refuting everything he says himself on his own. I'm just pointing out. I don't see how he's doing any of those things out. Not only that, he also goes on to name a trait that is supposed to validate name the trait as, well, legitimate. We don't talk about arguments being legitimate, we talk about them being valid, we talk about them being sound, okay, and naming a trait isn't a way to establish that the argument is valid, like, I don't know, I don't, or legitimate, or sound, or whatever word you want to use, right? It's just going to be the case that on his view, either there is a trait or there isn't a trait, right? The uh, argument itself, if you want to pick a problem with the argument, then you'd have to do that by either criticizing the form, so showing there's some kind of problem with modus ponens, or rejecting one of the premises. Without telling you that that's exactly what he's doing, and perhaps he himself doesn't understand it either, he names the trait that plants lack, that animals and people do possess, that makes it okay to eat plants, but not animals or people, or veganism. And that trait is sentience. So while he rejects the trait human on the grounds that it is subjective, which is interesting coming from a moral subjectivist, very interesting. That's a straw man of his position. He doesn't reject any trait because it's subjective. He thinks value overall is subjective. He's going to think his values are just as subjective as anyone else's, right? Um, he's just, there's a difference between I subjectively don't value X versus saying the problem with valuing X is that it's subjective, right? He's not saying the latter, he's just saying the former. How do you justify that? How do you reject a subjective basis for morality when you yourself are a moral subjective? And I just want to hit this really carefully in case it wasn't clear before. He says that um, he's he l makes the argument legitimate by naming the trait sentience, right? No, the thing that makes the argument legitimate is the combination of correct form and true premises, right? So he doesn't have to name the trait sentience for these premises to be true, right? The premises are true or they're not. Him naming the trait sentience doesn't tell you whether they're true or not. So it's just, it's just a weird thing to say. It's like the argument is legitimate, as you call it, right? We really talk about soundness. We don't talk about legitimacy. It's sound because the premises are true and the form is correct. He doesn't have to name the trait sentience when talking about plants versus animals and humans to make the argument legitimate. That's just a weird thing to say. How do you do that? I'm telling you, this kid is incoherent. But he rejects your trait human because it's subjective, as he says. That's a total straw man of his position. He wouldn't reject some trait because it's subjective. If you want to show a quote of him doing that, then go crazy. Uh, I call bullshit. And then he proposes his own trait, sentience which is no more or less subjective. That line that- I'm sure he would know that, right? His position is that value is subjective overall. He thinks that his values are just as subjective as your values are. He's not rejecting um, a given trait because it's subjective. He's saying he subjectively doesn't agree with that trait. Please make the distinction. He draws between plants and humans and animals is very much subjective. Me drawing the line between humans and the rest of the living beings on this planet. And, and to be clear, uh, just in case anyone's confused, the actual line of like, there, 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 we can talk about, you know, an objective fact of the matter about 
which being has which kind of conscious experience or something like this, like which has the more complex type of sentience. There's some kind of objective fact of the matter there, or someone can say there's an objective fact of the matter there without it following that there's some kind of objective fact of the matter about um, what we should value, right? So don't don't get confused and think that Carnival is, or that Cosmic is saying that like sentience itself is um, like the like whether one being is sentient or another is or something that that is subjective. I'm sure Cosmic would probably say that that's an objective fact, whether um, a being is sentient or isn't or how sentient they are. There's like objective facts there. He would just say that the value component, what what we value there, that that is the subjective part. How is that any more or less subjective than what he does? He wouldn't say that it is. It's just a straw man. It's not. So the same reason he gives for rejecting my trait is the same reason by which we can reject his own. Right, but that's a straw man. He doesn't reject your trait on grounds that your value, your basis for value is subjective. That's just silly, right? He's just saying that he doesn't subjectively value just humanity. He's not saying that the reason we can't value humanity is because it's subjective. That's just a conflation. Try to understand the difference. Own trait. The kid refutes himself. He's incoherent. No, you're just strawmanning him. You don't understand what he's saying. You're incoherent. Hypocritical. So when it's convenient, because veganism, name the trait is valid without any justification. Modus ponens is valid just by virtue of what validity means and what modus ponens means. Validity means that there's no that there's no case where it's possible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false, right? Modus ponens is such a case. When we drop the truth table, no row with premises true and conclusion false. That's what it means for an argument to be valid, okay? Either present your case against modus ponens or concede that name the trade is valid. For why that is... But then when it's inconvenient, because, well, I could draw the line wherever the hell I want to as well and justify it by means of name the trait just the same, then name the trait becomes invalid. All no, he's never said the argument is invalid. He said he rejects specific traits. All of a sudden. But here's the kicker, you guys. My trait, human, whether you believe is subjective or objective, doesn't really matter. But is the only valid. Whether you believe... I thought that... Okay, whatever. I won't even think about that. Trait in this instance. And it Human is the only valid trait. What does it mean for a trait to be valid? A trait isn't an argument. So, you know, what does validity mean there? Does it mean it's the only trait you'd accept? That might be true, but why would that be meaningful to me? What you would accept, right? I don't care what you accept. Um, does valid mean it's the only, like, coherent trait to name? Like, other traits create contradictions or something? If that's the case, then I'd love to see the argument for that. It makes perfect sense, actually. Why? Well, because the very premise on which name the trait rests, without which name the trait cannot work, now that it does anyway, but the premise on which it is built, the very first premise is, quote, humans are of moral value, unquote. You're talking about the informal argument from two years ago. We At this point, it's literally been formalized, Carnival. Look at the current version. And, um, okay, yeah, let's see what he says about that. Now let me ask you this. Why are humans of moral value? Thanks. Why are humans of moral value? It wouldn't matter. Look, it wouldn't matter if the value is subjective or objective. If you affirm human moral value, you deny animal moral value, and there's no trait, then the deduction explains that that position produces a contradiction, right? Um, whether, again, whether the value is subjective or objective is just irrelevant. And also, if you don't fully deny animal value, if it's just you're saying, you know, it's okay to stab animals, even though they have some value, it's not okay to stab humans, uh, and there's no trait, that also is going to reduce to a contradiction in just the same way. So why humans have value, that's a separate question. All that name the trait requires is a statement that humans do, animals don't, and there's no trait. Thanks for watching. Okay, so Carnival, yet again, has absolutely no clue what he's talking about. Um, Cosmic Skeptic didn't uh, reject the argument, he rejected specific traits, and he didn't reject those traits because they're subjective. He said he subjectively doesn't agree with those traits, and I can't remember all the other little errors that Carnival made in here, but this is just a standard, um, poorly thought out video. Um, and uh, if Carnival actually thinks he can defend his position, you know, this time without rage quitting when I corner him, I'm happy to have him on again and uh, attempt to explain basic logic to him in a debate. So uh, you know where to find me. I'm in the Discord. Um, that is all for today. And if you guys like what I do, then do consider supporting on Patreon. Um, that's sort of 
you know, that's my, my major income source. So, you know, if you like what I do, that is the place to go. I really appreciate everyone who helps out. We do, um, you know, monthly live streams. There's also merch and stuff linked below. So yeah, uh, that's all for today till next time.